An arson investigation is underway at Al's Tires in Pritchard. The building went up in flames early yesterday morning on St. Stephen's Road. Tonight, the shop's owners say police dispatch ignored a call for help. NBC 15's Ken McGrath joins us now. Ken, tonight the hunt is on for the folks who are responsible for that fire. That's right, Greg. And as you can imagine, the family that owns the shop, they're devastated and want justice to be served. Al's Tires has been a staple in the Pritchard community for decades. The owner, Beatrice King, took over the shop after her husband passed away a year and a half ago. It was a, it's a big hurt to the community, not just Pritchard, Mobile, Chickasaw, down the bay, Jackson, Alabama. People come from all over the place to get tires from, from Al's. To make matters worse, a truck that was sitting on the property was vandalized. Smith tells me the suspect or suspects shot three bullet holes into the front windshield and slashed at least two of the tires. She believes it was done with an ice pick. They're walking around like it's okay. Walking around, driving around like it's okay. And it's not okay. You can't just do this and you won't get away with it. Meanwhile, shortly before the fire happened, Smith tells me ADT called her about motion being detected in the building and asked her if police should be called to the scene. Smith told them yes. Then minutes later, ADT called Smith back, saying that Pritchard Dispatch would not send any units to the scene because there was, quote, bad weather, and they would only go out if she met officers at the scene. Radar indicates there was severe weather over the area at the time, but there were no warnings. I reached out to Pritchard Public Service Director T.J. Petway to get his response. Uh, we never did receive a call from ADT or any security company uh, regarding the address of 1404 St. Stephen's Road that will be Ayers Tires. We never did receive a call um, from ADT. Uh, we did receive a call by a passerby um, at 1205 a.m. So the city says they never got a call from ADT. What's your response to that? <laughs> That's a lie because the dispatcher caught when she called me and she told me she would call dispatch when she called me back. That's where she notified PD. So she called me back and said that they refused to come because they said that they wasn't sending anybody out because it was storming. Now, I reached out to Petway this afternoon and asked for recordings of the communication between dispatch and ADT. He told me not at this time. Now, if you know anything that can help authorities solve this case, you're asked to contact the Pritchard Police Department immediately. Greg.